what we're looking at here is the brand new 2019 Ram. That's an all new pickup for this year. Here's the front end of the vehicle. It's got a new grill design, also new LED uh, headlamps. Got your tow hooks incorporated into the frame. You got parking sensors as well. It's a pretty sharp looking truck. Do a quick side by side. This is what it's replacing right here. So this is the old pickup truck. And this is the all new 2019 Ram. This is new from the frame up. Suspension has been redone completely. New chassis, new frame. It's a very solid looking vehicle here. This is uh, powered by 5.7 V8 in the Hemi. Let's carry over for this year. This happens to have 20 inch wheels on this particular model. Now one major thing that you're going to see on this truck is that the cab has gone much longer. Especially in the rear end here. If you can see here, the rear door has gone much longer and now accommodates a lot more space in the back. Checking inside, Ram has always had an awesome interior. And uh, this is no different. Actually, they stepped it up another notch here on this particular vehicle here. So you got power deployable running boards. All right, everything here is a nice, uh, nicely appointed with nice uh, leather, stitched uh, everywhere. Soft touch materials. It's a very, very classy vehicle. Looking at the dashboard, it's a very nice uh, setup here. There's your limited badge there. It's got a nice supple leather interior, as you can see here. And what's new for this year, what's really the big news is this uh, new infotainment system. It's a new 12 inch uh, Evo Connect uh, for Dodge. So that's uh, the biggest on the market right now, 12 inch LCD screen. It's incredible. Here's your toggles with different uh, switches. You got uh, connections for USB and some, some other things there. Got a DVD player, CD player. Huge center console with the limited badging on top there. Got your coin holders. It's uh, That center uh, stack is configurable to many different ways. It's a really, really awesome setup that they have. Another nice little feature is they actually have leather wrapping on the grab handles. Very, very nice vehicle. Got a little piping on the leather. This one has the power seats. You can get a premium audio from Harden Cardinal, which is 19 speakers. It also puts on 900 watts. Check in the back here. Same nice quality materials carry over to the rear. So they didn't skimp on anything here. Some nice uh, stitching here, leather wrapped. Soft touch materials all the way around. Small details like that really go a long way. Very, very uh, country oriented style. Very cool. As you can see here, the rear cab is gigantic. That's where all that space comes in with the long, uh, elongated cab. Checking in the back here, got your cup holders. You got your different power sources, USB connections. Also, nice wood trim uh, carries over. You got your rear ventilation. It's a very, very nice looking truck. It smells really good too. This leather is really high quality. Very nice and supple. Got some small details like that that's stitching on the back. I mean, this is a really, really... They thought of all the little details in this truck. All right, moving on to the back. Okay. So this continues the dual exhaust team that they have from previous generation. See, there's another outlet there. Tow uh, package. There's another, there's your four inch outlet for the exhaust. Nice steel bumper on this. This one's painted to match the body. It's very subtle in the rear. It's not as quite as dramatic as the front end, but it's still a very sharp uh, vehicle. Once you're on the 20 inch wheels, got really big disc brakes under there, if you can see. I think they're the biggest in the segment currently. Moving to the front. And these uh, trucks also can be fit with airbag suspension with the coil over, so it's pretty cool. So that's supposed to ride really, really nice. It's supposed to be the most supple uh, driving truck at the moment. There's your running board once again, deployed. Looking from the driver's side, the door. Here's your uh, controls for your lighting. 
you got your uh, e-brake and uh, also you can change uh, where the um, pedals go with a move forward and aft looking at the detailing on the steering wheel that's nice wood trim that's uh, in there there's a new logo for this year for Ram pickup trucks got your Bluetooth connection audio controls automatic cruise control several different features there's the instrument cluster right there all right stepping inside the truck give you another look here at the steering wheel the cluster there with the ram in there this one has an alpine stereo which i believe is one of the other options you have for your audio systems there's your 12 inch screen in the middle like we said before it's got a rotary gear selector it makes a little more, more room for your center console you got push button start as you can see everything's covered in leather supremely supremely nice there's your rear view mirror you get LED lights there's some of your controls there I mean, this is a very solid looking vehicle I think uh, they're gonna do pretty good they're gonna take a lot more in the market than they used to um, I, I, I for my opinion I think this is a much better truck than what GM offers no comparison there the main fight will definitely be with the Ford products all right, we're going to take a look in the back. Okay, so here's the rear uh, seats again. Checking out the room and the space there. Got a nice big window there in the back. Sliding window. I like the details there with the uh, piping on the leather uh, seats. And we're hopping on inside. Here's the view from the back seat at the dashboard. Very, very nicely designed. I think it's a, this is definitely, an, uh, I think this is the nicest uh, finished interior and also the most ergonomic looking as well. You can uh, comment below if you agree or not. I'd like to see what you guys think about that. But it's a mighty impressive vehicle. Heading back outside, there's the, also the leathers, uh, over the strap there on the slope there. All right, taking a look once again on the outside. There's the cab seat, It'll definitely elongated compared to last year's. There's a new badging on the hood there. Got nice tow uh, mirrors on this one, chrome capped. 20 inch wheels on this truck. A nice tow chrome uh, tow bars right there. Just overall, I think uh, this is a, a well done and well executed vehicle. Um, the old truck was a good looking truck, but uh, it's amazing how one generation can kind of make that all uh, change rapidly. This is definitely a lot more modern and a lot more sleek. And uh, I think Ram is going to do pretty good with this truck. Um, so do me a favor, guys. Check out all my other videos. Uh, please subscribe, uh, share, and uh, hope everyone's having a great day. And we'll catch you next time. Alright, have a good one.